Hey friends, welcome back to my channel that is Learn Computer Science with Manik Sharma. Today I am going to discuss very important topic of SQL that is working of outer join. The practical implementation of the outer join has been discussed in the end of this video. We know that join is used to extract the information from two or more than two tables. In the previous video on join operation, I have discussed the concept and working of inner and equijoin operations. For your reference, the web link of that video has also been mentioned in the description section of this video. Unlike inner or equijoin that return the matched rows only, the outer join operation will return the matched rows of two table along with the unmatched rows. There are three main categories of the outer join. That is left outer join, right outer join and full outer join. Let's first understand the meaning of left, right and full outer join. Afterwards, we will see how these join operations are practically implemented in the Oracle environment using SQL. Let's move to the left outer join. Left outer join is a kind of outer join that returns all the rows or tuples mentioned in the left hand side of the join expression. Left outer join retrieves all the rows from both the table that satisfy the join condition along with the unmatched rows from the left table. The right hand side of the left outer join expression where there are no matched rows will be filled out with the empty space. Don't worry, you will better understand this scenario in the practical session that is discussed at the end of this video. Now right outer join. It returns all the rows from the table mentioned in the right hand side of the join expression. Right outer join retrieves all the rows from both the table that satisfy the join condition along with the unmatched rows from the right hand side table. The left hand side of the right outer join expression where there are no matched rows will be fed out with the empty space. Full outer join is union of left outer join and right outer join. Full outer join returns all the rows from both the table. When no matching row exists for the row in the left table, the column on the right hand side tables will be filled out with the empty space. Similarly, when no matching row exists for the rows in the right table, the columns of the left hand side will be filled out with the empty space. The general syntax for the outer join operation is select t1.call comma t2.call from t1 left right full outer join t2 on condition here t1 is the name of the left hand side table t2 is the right hand side table let us see how these joins are practically implemented in oracle environment for your convenience i will discuss the working of outer join by taking two standard tables that is emp table and dept table initially there are 14 rows in the EMP table and 4 rows in the DEPT table. For the better understanding, let's first add one partial row in the EMP table. We will add a partial record having EMP number, ename and cell. We will not mention the department number for this record. Let us insert insert into EMP EMP number ename cell we need to give the values 2424 is EMP number name Manek salary 50,000 semicolon so now one row has been created successfully. Let's check. Select star from EMP. Now you can observe that one partial row has been added where there is EMP number, E name and salary. There is no value for the department number for this particular record. Now suppose we want to show the name of the employee and the name of the department where he or she is working. Obviously, we need to use join operation for this purpose. As in case of an EMP table, we have name of the employee. No doubt, 
the department number is there however the name of the department has been mentioned in other table that is DEPT table in the previous video the same query has been executed using inner and equijoin for your reference the web link of the video has also been mentioned in the description section of this video now let us see how the left join will work in the oracle environment as mentioned earlier the left outer join returns all the rows or the tuple mentioned in the left hand side of the join expression that is left outer join retrieves all the row from the bow table that satisfy the join condition along with the unmatched rows of the left table let us see it practically so we will write select emp dot ename comma dept dot dname as we want to show the name of the employee along with the department name from emp for the left outer join we need to write left outer join the name of the other table that is dept on emp dot dept number is equal to dept dot dept number so this is the query for the left outer join let us see the output for the query we need to put the semicolon at the end of this query now from the output you can observe that there are 15 rows 14 matched row and one unmatched row so you may observe that the right hand side of the left outer join expression where there are no matched row has been filled out with the empty space so the same can be observed that we have no corresponding values against ename manek now let us see how the right join will work right outer join select emp dot ename comma dept dot dname from emp instead of left outer join we need to right right outer join name of the other table department on emp dot department number is equal to dept dot department number so you may observe that there is only one minor difference in the query that instead of this left we have used right outer join so as mentioned earlier in case of right outer join the left hand side of the right outer join expression where there are no matched rows will be filled out with the empty space let us check it now now you may observe that in this case again we have 15 rows but now the empty space has been shown on the left hand side we have 15 values corresponding to the right table that means all the rows from the table that has been mentioned on the right hand side that is DEPT has been shown however only matched rows has been displayed on the left hand side of the column and for the unmatched row the empty space has been filled up now let us see the implementation of a full outer join for the full outer join we will write the same query like emp dot ename comma dept dot dname from emp full outer join dept on emp dot DEPT number is equal to DEPT dot DEPT number now instead of left or right we have mentioned full rest of the query has been same that is select EMP dot ename department dot dname from EMP so instead of left or right we have written full outer chart now you may observe that there are 16 rows 
so sql full outer join is used to combine the result of both left and right outer join and returns all the row it does not care whether the rows are matched or unmatched update and technical inside of computer science please subscribe this channel thank you